What's up everybody? Today we're going to be delving into another top 10 list and this one is my top 10 playing cards by Theory11. So the last video featuring my top 10 decks was the Illusionist one. So if that's something you're interested in then check out the video at the end and there'll be a link to that. So let's get started. Firstly I just want to make an additional entry to a deck of cards which was released after I made this list and that was the Peter McKinnon Piracy deck. If I was to make my list again that will come in a close second or third possibly and again I've shot a review of that deck which you can find on my channel or a link at the end of the video. So let's cut to the chase and start at number 10 which is the Union deck. So this is a deck of cards which is inspired by American history and has a strong patriotic theme throughout the deck. The entire deck has fully custom pips and court cards it also has a fantastic foil tuck box with it too. The deck was designed by J. Fletcher in South Carolina which is one of the oldest and most historic cities in America. Not much else to say about this other than America fuck yeah! America, fuck yeah. Coming in at number 9 is a Product Red playing cards. So this is a deck of cards which is created in partnership with Red to fight the end to AIDS. And the good thing about this deck is that each one that is sold, there's $1 of that purchase money going to the Global Funds programs by Red, which is a really worthy cause. Um, I've got the original version of the deck as well, which is a plain red back design and more minimal tuck case, but the newer version is still a good deck. In at number 8 is the deck from the thumbnail, and it's the JJ Abrams Bad Robot and Theory 11 Mystery Box playing cards. Bad Robot is a J.J. Abrams film production company and has made some great things such as Cloverfield and Super 8. This was originally marketed as a mystery box playing card deck and was designed and developed as to monuments to mystery and came wrapped up to help create the endless wonder of what was actually in the wrapping. The Bad Robot deck was that deck. Number 7 and we're heading on to a magical mystery tour to Liverpool and trying to follow the Yellow Submarine. This is a special edition playing card deck which is inspired by the 1968 animated film by the Beatles. The deck is littered with artwork from the iconic film and it's such a colourful and vibrant deck which is very typical of the movie and a lot of the artwork around the time in the 60s. Of course each of the Beatles members take pride of place in the court cards too. Coming in at number 6 we have the Mandalorian playing cards. So for around 34 years of my life I'd never watched Star Wars at all. Just thought it was going to be all a rubbish film franchise and overhyped. I did eventually sit down and start watching the movies over lockdown and was drawn in and loved them. Fast forward to the Mandalorian being released and this deck following it too and I just had to grab the deck. The custom artwork of the aces, jokers and court cards are all fantastic and fit in really well with the deck. Nice work Theory 11. Number 5 is one from a magician himself, it's the one and only Neil Patrick Harris. I actually got these deck of cards as part of a secret Santa as I had them on my Amazon wish list for ages and someone got them for me and I'm so glad they did. You can see that the elegance coming right from the tuck case which then continues onto the, the cards themselves with an awesome back design. The deck was created with art direction of Neil and there is a tribute to his love of mystery, music, games and theatre and it's such a cool looking deck. We've now passed the halfway mark and it's on to number 4 and it's time to go from one magic man to another one and this time it's the wizard Harry Potter. So everyone knows Harry Potter and I think as it's related to magic it was only time before there was a Harry Potter deck release besides the, the Waddington ones of course. The cool thing about this deck is that there's an option for a different colour of the deck which is related to the different houses of Hogwarts so you can be your own representation of who you want to be. The tuck box itself just screams Harry Potter and some of the best bits of the deck for me is the court cards. I love how they implemented the characters into the deck and each person has a different things on their cards such as a golden snitch, portions and ones and of course Dobby the House Elf makes an appearance too. Now we're at the top three and for number three I've gone for one of my favourite bands of all time and that is the Beatles. So this is the second time that they appeared on the list and also the second deck which offers a number of different colours to choose from in the deck. Sgt Pepper is such a fantastic album and the deck is based around that album and the colours represent the, uh, the clothes and the uniform worn by each Beatles member. The back design features the silhouettes of the band and the court cards have been designed to feature the band members themselves. As a Beatles fan there's loads of hidden things which are hidden in the deck which is throwback to songs and lyrics and stuff like that which is something that I love. If you're a Beatles fan why not comment on the video let me know your favourite Beatles song below. Now onto the number two slot and this was hard to pick a winner as it was very close but for me the Monarchs just got pipped at the, the pause for the top spot. 
So the monarchs come in a variety of colours and been featured in the movie Now You See Me and have been all over the internet in people's videos and photos over the years. They also featured as a number one in their GQ holiday gift guide and that just shows how fantastic they are. They are surrounded by gold foil and give off a vintage and timeless look which everyone loves and they handle just as good as they look too. They were illustrated by Curtis Jenkins and they're being classed as one of the most cherished luxury playing cards of all time and there's a good reason for that too, they're fantastic. So this leads me on to my number one Theory 11 deck of all time and it's the White Artisans. Now don't get me wrong, there's black artisans and gold ones, but the white artisans do it for me. I love the crisp white cards with the gold design and the embossing. It's just something else. They handle amazing, they look amazing, and that's why they hit the top spot for me. Um, in 2013, David Copperfield mentioned in a magazine article that these cards were the best playing card ever produced, and I have to agree with him on that. There's a bunch of other playing cards that I love too beside these ones, but these are most definitely my favorite deck that Theory 11 have created. Whenever I just want to have a mess around and do some tricks and sights, I always try to grab a deck of these and always have them with me in various places around the house for when I need a deck of cards. So that's my top 10 list of favourite Theory 11 decks and I hope you enjoyed it. Did you agree with the list? Is there something that you'd get rid of out of the list or want to add in there? Uh, let me know in the comments of what you'd be interested to let me know about the decks. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I've got a video showing off the Peter McKinnon Piracy deck and also a top 10 the uh, Illusionist playing cards list, which will be appearing at the video as a link to end screen. So you can check them out. Until next time, see ya.